It has been an incredible amount of work. Not only building this today, but the true work has been all of the planning and all the things that you don't see in the vlog to get to this point. We're Tyler and Todd, and in 2020, we parked our RV in the middle of the Canadian forest to live out our dream of building an off-grid home for ourselves. Hundreds of projects and thousands of small steps later, our journey to build a simple life has led us to where we are today. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, which helps us get introduced to more like-minded people People just like you. Come along. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. We have had a really nice last two weeks relaxing here. We um, moved into the dome and it's been really It's nice. been really magical and really fun to enjoy this space that we've been working so hard over the past year to create. We still got a lot more work to do and it's been good living in it because our vision for the space has completely changed from what we intended when we moved in. Like this is basically yeah. how we've been living in it. <laughs> we've got like our living room. Why don't you just, like quickly show it? Okay, cool. Well, it's kind of going to give away the floor plan too. So basically we've set up a living room here with a day bed that we found that we're able to pull out and the two mattresses go together to make a king bed, which is perfect because all five of us curl up all night in front of the fire. And then over on this side, we're just using our work table as um, a little kitchenette right now. And I think this is a perfect spot for a kitchenette because then it leaves all this space open for just moving around, you can do so much with it. Yeah, I think it just makes way more sense. Plus, obviously, this crazy breathtaking view of the forest. Yeah. We realized if we put a cube in the center like we wanted, like where I'm standing, as soon as you walk in the front door, you're going to be hit in the face with like a wall when the whole point is to open the door and get hit in the face with the forest, obviously. Either way, you're getting hit in the face <laughs> when you get here, but we just wanted to be nice. <laughs> anyway, the last few nights, it's gotten very cold here. It was minus 15 last night. So as great as our vacation was, it, we really do need to get back to work. So we're going to kick it off with the subfloor. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get the subfloor in and then we'll, fingers crossed, also get on to installing our LVP flooring. So that's really going to make it feel more like home and we won't have to wear slippers everywhere because the nails. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's get to it because we got to move all this stuff over to this side so that we can get to work on the floor. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm living on a cloud. Out here just floating around. I got a tendency to move too fast. Even when I know I'm walking on glass. Someone better hold me back now. Just gotta Way too many hours of brainstorming and watching YouTube videos later. We decided to just lay the subfloor on the first half of the dome. It just made more sense, so. Yeah. yeah. So I'm working on sorting out our boards because we bought what was left at the store, like we cleaned them out. It was a clearance sale. Um, so some of the boxes have some damaged boards in it. So I'm sorting them based on how I think I can make the cuts work from yeah. like if it's broken in this corner, I can cut it on an angle like that. So. That's and right there's now. a lot of weird angle cuts. Obviously, like being in a geodesic dome, it's just all triangles <laughs> everywhere. So uh, yeah, it's kind of nice that we were able to get these discount boards. I think it was like a dollar thirty. I think it was one twenty-five a square foot. Yeah, which is really really good for luxury vinyl plank. It's um, yeah, I think seven mils thick, uh, five mils with a yeah. with an insulated liner on the back, which is nice. So. We're gonna get sorting these boards and start laying them, which is exciting. I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm really excited. I think this is gonna really change the way that this space feels and make it so much more homey. I can't wait. I think so too. So we're just gonna keep pressing on and getting it done. I'm still thinking about you. I'm still thinking about you. You can't stop thinking about you. I'm still thinking about, thinking about you I got my head 
headphones on No sound, just walking along So many questions running through my mind a few short hours later, and luckily for us, the flooring is going down way easier than the subfloor is, yeah. and it looks really good. It does. It's so nice. Are you liking it? Loving it. Like, look how cool. It looks really good. And the angles, for some reason, I don't know if it's because the boards are smaller that there's not as many, like, interesting angles. I just find it a lot easier with this product. Yeah. So. We were gonna do our coffee break once we had the whole, um, I guess the side of the dome done, but per usual, things are taking much longer than anticipated. We so gotta I, get realistic with our timelines. You need to get realistic with your timelines. I'm gonna lose this bet. <laughs> every, every single project Todd thinks it's gonna be way easier than it actually is, but this is a little bit extra. Um, I'll be the first to admit, but how cool is this setup? So we've got our coffee machine, our Christmas gift to ourselves. So press our button and the coffee is gonna grind and do all of the things on the inside. And we're completely off grid right now. Plugged in to our Jackery down here. I'm really excited. You got it all right If it's wrong, I don't want to be right I'm still thinking about you I'm still thinking about you You Literally all day, and we've got half the dome, subfloor, and LVP down. It looks really, really good. Yeah, like I am blown away. Yeah, really changed the space. It looked really nice with the deck floor, like it gave it that rusticy vibe. But this just like, it's a finished product. It looks good. I'm really, really happy. Like yeah. I, I love it. Like look how much space. It's just looks swirl. good. So many activities! But now we have the fun part. So all this over here needs to come all the way over to here. And the reason we want to do that tonight is that way tomorrow when we're ready, we can get right to doing the floor and not have to move everything. It's kind of like just ride this last little push and get tomorrow set up for success of finishing this project. I really disagreed with Todd at first, but he has a point, like if we have everything moved over here, it's just like tomorrow we can start with a clean slate even though it's so much stuff and a lot of work. Plus it'll be less chaotic because the way that the bed is, it faces the fireplace. So if we get all that visual chaos out of there, it'll make it nicer for relaxing. We're gonna get to work on finishing up, sweeping this. Well, that took about an hour to move everything over, but it's gonna make it so much easier tomorrow, especially because as we were cleaning up, we noticed that the floor cutter is broken. So the blade has a chip out of it, so it's not cutting the boards properly, which might've been giving us some grief. So Tyler's run into town to see if he can find a replacement blade for it, which works out well because while he's gone, I actually have a session with my counselor through BetterHelp, who happens to be the sponsor of today's video. BetterHelp is available worldwide, and with such a broad range of experts expertise in their counselor network, you might get matched with someone who has that expertise that you need but is not readily available in your area. You're able to schedule weekly sessions, either video or phone with your counselor. That means there's no more sitting in uncomfortable waiting rooms, plus it's more affordable than traditional counseling. For me, personally, I started out with video sessions but I'm now loving my phone sessions. I find it an easier way for me to communicate and engage with my counselor. BetterHelp wants you to start living happier today, so make sure you head over to BetterHelp help.com slash Tyler Todd. That's better H E L P.com slash Tyler Todd to join the over 1 million of us using the services worldwide. By using that link, they're going to give you 10% off your first month service. I actually just finished my session before I picked up the camera. So I'm just going to use this time until Tyler gets home to just be with my thoughts and self reflect. And then we're going to have a relaxing night because our backs are killing us after all this flooring and we will see you tomorrow. What? I said this is a dumpster <laughs> hole. It's a little... It's so stressful. <laughs> I absolutely hate everything about that. 
in we're, hindsight, we in probably, hindsight, we should never have moved in here. And in hindsight, hindsight, we probably should have taken the tree down. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. One hundred percent should have done that. Way more complicated. All right. I'm gonna get you guys set up <laughs> right here, and we are gonna get this flooring done because can't handle it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the tree does look really good though. All right, Miss Lily, I need you to go. Hey, my mom is not moving. Sorry, squirrel, I need one too. Wow. All right, dads have to go to work. Let's see what this is now. It's a big hearth. Mm-hmm, that's pretty big. <laughs> what are you thinking? So we could go the full two, three tiles out. 27 and a half. Like the thing. I think that worked. Um, that was stressful, but we just really figured that out. Mm -hmm. I told you we could run the UN. So we just wasted the last three hours spiraling and stressing about this area. So the problem is, is we're gonna be getting a new wood stove. We've realized like the last few nights where they've just been so cold that the smaller wood stove is not keeping up. We wanted to go with one that was more elevated. So instead of taking up more floor space, it went vertical like this, but they, it just doesn't have enough BTUs. So what we have been trying to figure out is where the new wood stove will go. There's only one opening for the stove pipes to go through and that's right there but it's not centered on the two windows, which we don't like. Yeah, hold on. I'll just come back here so you can see, like, it does look kind of weird, right? Versus if it was more, gotta wash those things. Those will cut through a carrot we tested. <laughs> we figured it was close enough to a finger. <laughs> it's for science. We've got a bigger one coming, so it's lower and longer. So we're just trying to figure out like if we can get an elbow in to move it over that way, it fixes the problem with the furniture because we have an L-shaped couch coming. So as you come in the door, the whole space is gonna be slightly tilted, but the floor is running perfectly straight. And it's just gonna be, re I think it's too confusing for the eye. Yeah, especially because you want your eye to gravitate towards the forest, right? So yeah, it's just been very confusing. Like designing a circular space is <laughs> I think more challenging than us yeah. building this. Yeah. It's, it's really like sort of a mind meld is the best way I can explain it. It really is. But I think we've got a solid plan. We're just going to lay as much of the flooring as we can. And we're going to do these two more. Yeah. And we've then this also floor. made the decision that the tree, it's got to go. Got to go. We we've should. been holding on to Christmas a little too long. Like, I don't know what we were thinking. We've like, let's it. install flooring and leave a nine foot Christmas tree. <laughs> I, I always say I don't know who allows Tyler and I to live alone because we need supervision. <laughs> Big time. All right, well, we're gonna get to work on this. Does that sound okay, little Lily? Several hours later and all of the Christmas decorations are finally out of the dome. Things are looking a lot less chaotic in here, which is a relief for me. Way more spacious. Yeah, so. It looks good. Obviously this little bit of flooring here um, needs to be finished still, but it's looking a lot better. So once we can figure out exactly where the wood stove is gonna go, we'll deal with that. But for now, we need to build a area for us to be able to be productive and do work. This is the only place that we have to sit and still be productive and get and stuff done. And in front done. of the fire, we've been falling asleep while trying to do work, so. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna set up where our, I guess, sort of office, kitchen, you know, table. Yeah. It's just, it's gonna be right here. Yeah, so we're gonna get to that. We did some shopping, so gonna get it all set up. You're all saying, we never stop. Hey. We never stop, do we, boys? Can you get it? Look at us being adults. That looks actually really cool. Yeah. Why do you stay the same? That's really good. 
Good morning. It is such a beautiful day here. It is sunny. It's plus five degrees. We'll take which, it for January. Yeah, amazing this time of year. But we're going to switch gears a little bit and take advantage of this weather and take a big step in our comfort here at the land. So if you've been watching the vlog for a while, you've probably noticed there's been a ton of tiny steps to getting our solar system ready from clearing the trees and trenching the conduit. It's and been an unbelievable amount of work leveling the area. A it's, lot. It's been a lot. <laughs> but the guys are here because today we're going to be installing the ground mount system that's going to support the panels that hopefully, if everything goes well in a couple of weeks, will be producing nice, clean energy for us here. So, infinite energy. Infinite. All right, let's get started. Okay. All we have is nothing. Sometimes nothing's all you need. When you strip the all your armor, you can find a feel the breeze. We have been making some incredible progress getting everything laid out and getting the first few helical piles attached to the solar stands. However, we've run into a little bit of a snag. Shocker. That, yeah, shock, that <laughs> massive tree there. We need to remove some of the branches. We really wanted to keep the tree, but the electrician said that the branches will hang over top of the panels and just puts unnecessary risk to the system. Which is so. exactly why we should always be consulting with experts on projects like this. It's a huge investment into our home here at the land. So if we hadn't have had an expert here, we would have left the branches and lived with that unnecessary risk. Yeah, and not only that, but putting the system in is allowing us to be energy independent and we really don't want anything to risk that, so yeah. Plus, I get to use this bad boy that I got on clearance in the fall. It's a battery powered pole saw, which is pretty cool for getting your branches down. Like, look at this bad boy. Let me <laughs> go cut some branches. I wanna try it first. Do you? Yeah. Right. I um, really thought that this was a waste of money at first, but. You tell me I'm right now. Well, let's use it first and then we'll decide. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get cutting. So this is the part where I admit that Todd was right and I was wrong. The pole saw was an absolute must for this project. Good job at always planning ahead, hun. We've got a few more hours left to work. We're gonna get to it installing these solar stands. We're alive. We're on sunshine. What do you think? I cannot believe it. It looks so good, even without the panels, I'm in love. It has been an incredible amount of work. Not only building this today, but the true work has been all of the planning and all the things that you don't see in the vlog to get to this point, all the calculations of how much power we need. It's Well, you've been doing this since June of 2020, so I'm, put her there, I'm very proud of you. Yeah. Do you I, want to explain it? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, like weirdly emotional. This has just been like having our own power supply is a really freeing thing. I mean, it, the panels aren't even on <laughs> on the stands yet, but I can already feel it. But, but anyway, it, it goes back to each day is just a few little things to make it so much better here. Yeah, it really is. So after a lot of research, I decided on installing 15.5 kilowatts of solar, which is an incredible amount of power. The average Canadian household uses 30 kilowatts of power per day. We only need to have two hours of sunlight a day to meet all of the energy requirements of the average household. Obviously we get a lot more than two hours of sun per day, but I wanted to just have excess power because if it's cloudy or stormy or just whatever sort of weather conditions we could have come our way, I never wanna not have enough energy to like run the land. And 
It also puts us in a good position to eventually add a pool. And on really sunny days, we can have a water slide that we turn on. The reality is <laughs> I, I need to upsize everything and make it a little bit bigger because as big of a dreamer as I am, you've never seen anything like him. <laughs> it's Pinterest, man. It just keeps me going. Yeah. So the next thing that we need to do is figure out how to install all the solar panels and the wires and everything. But this is a big win. I'm proud of you. But for now, let's go for a walk. Yeah, okay. We're gonna take this all in and do some more research to figure out the next steps and we'll see you Sunday.